Yo mates, in this video I want to talk about one simple thing that's gonna make your portfolio like 10 times better. I'm speaking with literally hundreds of people per month and there is like a common theme with every single person and probably you've seen the portfolio reviews that are on this channel. The one thing that sticks out the most is the complexity of the project. Why is it important to have a complex project? When you will be getting your first job, you will be working on a complex project. You'll be working in a, in a project that has multiple pages, uh, difficult user flow, a project that has like hundreds of components. You need to understand how to operate in such, uh, in such an environment, okay? Otherwise, if you only have like very, very simple projects, very, very simple uh, applications, you will struggle to get up to speed if you even get hired. One of the reasons why most people are not getting interviews is because their projects are not complex enough, okay? If you finished a bootcamp or if you've been self-taught, you probably have like a very, very simple project, maybe one or two pages and where not much is happening, right? Maybe you are fetching some data from an endpoint and then you are displaying that data and that's pretty much it. But there is no complex state management. You don't have that. You don't have a lot of components. You don't have a lot of pages. You don't have like a complex user flow. I've been working on a project for myself. I identified a problem when I was running my business and I realized, okay, I can make this thing easier. Because I was super lazy, I decided to make an app to save my life somehow. And it took me five minutes to get that app done five minutes. But then I realized, okay, I can turn this thing into a whole product. And I've been working on that application for a week now. And let me tell you, the complexity grew exponentially. Every single day, the application became more and more and more complex. As I was developing it, I had more ideas. And then I had to add a new feature. And then because I added that new feature, I had to create some, uh, some other endpoint. I had to create an extra page. I had to create a new piece of state in my Redux store. I had to create all this stuff. And that's complexity. I did not approach this project that I was building for myself in the right way, because in the right way, you have to plan and prepare for like a few days, da da da. And then you get started with building it. But uh, because I did not have time for that, I did not have uh, the whole idea formed in my head. When I started it, I was just building it on my own. And uh, this project is uh, at a caliber where someone would pay me like 100 grand a year to build, okay? It's a very, very complex project. If I would onboard a junior into this project, the junior will be probably overwhelmed because juniors usually have no clue how to operate in complex projects. That's why I'm always saying, if you get started with a project, make sure you are not just finishing it up and then you are moving on to the next thing because you'll not find the next thing. If you do your to-do app, then you're not gonna find the next app that you can build. You have to somehow figure out how can I work on this to-do app for three months? How can I make this to-do app a real product? And that's why all my uh, students are so successful because they are working on a single thing for months and months and months and months at the end. They are not learning from lit code. They are not practicing algorithms like crazy, like bootcamp grads, like self-taught developers. They're not doing that because it's not needed. What you actually need is to build stuff and you need to learn how to build it properly so you can prove that you are worth a shot. Because if you have like a shitty application that you've done in your bootcamp, your to-do app with MongoDB Express, React and Redux, that doesn't show much. That shows that you have some basic knowledge, but that basic knowledge is not gonna take you very far if you are not making your application complex. And that's the reason why people are stuck in this job search process for months, if not years. And those who are getting hired, they are getting hired by luck. And then when they are getting hired, they will tell you something like, it's so different than what I've done in my bootcamp. It's so different than what I've learned from my course. I'm getting overwhelmed, I'm getting stressed. I love it, but you know, there is so much on my shoulders that I can't take it anymore. That's the reason why, is because they've never had serious training dealing with a growing application that's a living beast and that wants to grow more and more. And the more it grows, the more problems appear. But this is something that you need to keep in mind if you wanna be like a good developer if, and if you wanna get paid really well. You will be getting paid based on the complexity of the problem that you'll be solving. And then if you are showing to potential employers, to recruiters that you're only solving cute problems, simple problems, then you'll get paid accordingly or you'll not get paid at all. It's as simple as that. The bigger the problem that you can solve, the more money you'll be making. I guess that's it. If you like this video, 
like it. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. If you want to work with me directly, there is a link in the description for where you can do that. And uh, yeah, what's your take on this? Uh, do you believe that having a complex application is going to help you at all? Or do you think I'm bullshitting you? Anyway, see ya.